Hey guys, Gunwald here. Um, I just learned something that's disturbing to me. I just learned that on Friday, our governor, Jerry Brown, signed into law to make um, micro stamping a law in California. And uh, that's just um, wrong on so many levels. Those of you that don't know what micro stamping is, um, kind of make it easy for you. And I'm no expert on this. I could be wrong, could be way off, but and I'm sure you guys that know more about this will let me know. But let's just say that they put uh, on the end of the firing pin, they put a certain symbol that would make the 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 imprint on the brass specific to your firearm let's just say my firearm firing pin has a, a smiley face on it okay well it would print a smiley face on the primer there now what's going to keep a criminal from coming in after you, let's say you go to the range, fire off a box of ammo. What's going to keep a criminal from going in there, picking up a handful of your ammo, then taking a revolver of the same caliber, committing a crime, and throwing your brass onto the floor? And we all know that a revolver does not eject the brass, so what happens? The cops come after you or me or you know whoever the uh, brass belonged to which <sighs> this just frustrates me to no point um, like I said our governor Jerry Brown signed it into law on Friday and it is in effect immediately um, at least we can still buy the firearms that are currently in the stores. Now any new guns that are coming out on the market will have to have the micro stamping technology. Um, which I seriously doubt if all manufacturers are going to uh, comply with this law which is going to make our list of approved firearms in California very small and as it is we can't get a Springfield XDM here we can get the XD but not the M um, just because of stupid reason like a magazine disconnect or uh, some, some kind of a, um, a safety issue um, there, there are several firearms that are not on the list that are approved for this state so you know if anybody knows anything more about this than what I know I please let me know you know I, I like I said I I don't know a whole lot about this I just kinda read up a little bit on it and uh, you know it's just it's a it's a BS law you know, because what's going to stop somebody from grinding that mark off of the firing pin or the ejector or, or whatever part, um, component of the firearm that's going to leave this distinctive mark? What's going to keep people from polishing that off or taking a, a nail file on you know, an emery board and, and grinding it down? Um, it's ridiculous. It's not going to work. All it's doing is making it harder for us Californians to get firearms. And like I said, it's going to make that approved list much, much smaller. So those of you in California, I would suggest you hold on to your firearms because who knows if they can ever be replaced. Alright guys, thanks for watching and we'll talk to you later.
Goodbye.